Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is probably gonna be a really short video. I only just decided to randomly vlog right before we're about to leave. I'm trying to syringe aloe vera while also filming this intro. Anyway, we're going show jump training. Um, this is his first proper show jump training back since he's been on spell. He's had like a little schooling session and hopefully we're gonna try a bit that makes me have a bit more control. So we're gonna try that out. Hopefully it goes better than last time, which went terribly. I'm pretty sure I posted the vlog from that. Maybe, maybe I didn't. I'm actually wearing something nice for once. I've got this um, top I got for my birthday and then I had a broken pelvis, so I haven't worn it yet. It's like a pecure top or however you meant to say it. And I've got bare leggings on and carrot socks. So I'm really just a designer fashion person. Okay, so we started off the ride in just his usual truss bit and then I'm not exactly sure where in the videos it switches but he was really quite chill to start off with so I was trying to hype him up to actually see if this new bit would help control him a bit more. Anyway, this obviously isn't the first jump we did, I didn't get the first few jumps filmed but he was being very good and just calm in general. And you will see a lot of the jumps, I've just kind of forgotten how to see a stride so when I do that I tend to just in the last minute see a long stride and then make him do a big stride and it just doesn't look all that great. So obviously we are working on that, that's just me, that's not him at all because I haven't jumped in a while properly. Anyway, so we just... Uh, does he have it on now? I think he's still in his truss bit now, but overall he was very good We didn't do too much and then we put the jumps up a little bit by the end this double here was a big two strides So to start off with I wasn't getting his canter big enough and then that time was actually quite nice This one I did way too much of a deep spot. I should have prepared him a lot more for that But yeah, I just when I stopped jumping for a while, I can't see the stride very far out and there he actually, this is when I think we switched the bit because you can see there the two strides came up short because he kind of ran through it. And he did that deep spot nicely. And then I just halted after the double a few times because he was just running off a little bit. And that tends to help him if I halt him after the jumps a few times. That was nice there, landing on the right lead. He, um... Oh, we're not going around to that jump. Never mind. So you can see there, I just kind of flap at the last minute and make him do the long spot, which he's a very good boy. He'll jump out of basically any distance I give him. Anyway, we were also working on him picking up the right lead after the jumps because he's not the best at that. Oh, that time he did get it. Um, there was one where it took a few goes and you'll see this rain. He just did not want to pick up the left lead afterwards, so we did that a few times. I think it took him like three tries to get it. And just, here's the double again. I So I think this new bit did actually help me get a bit more control in the middle of the double, because I couldn't tell heaps because he was already being so good. But I think it did help me sit him up a bit more between the double. And then I don't get the stride great to that, but he did get the right lead, so he got pats. Another long spot from Sedell, lovely. Lucky your horse is good. There he ran through it a bit too, but then he did actually come back. I cut the corner as well, which I need to stop doing, but he, you can see he comes back nicely. And this was the little random course we made up. He did this one very nicely. I actually saw the stride and slowed him a little bit further out, so it wasn't just a stupid short stride at the last minute. This one I totally messed up his stride after doing that nice one. Lovely, there you go. But then he did a nice little angle jump here. He didn't get the right lead, but you know, not perfect. It's not gonna be perfect all the time. And then we just finished on this double. We put the jumps up a little bit. He was tired by this point, so he did knock it. He didn't knock it off, but he did touch the pole. But yeah, overall, he was pretty good. I think I am gonna get this bit because I think it did help. Just 
finished up with him and got back. Obviously now we're going into the paddock. He's all done. He was such a good boy. You can't even see him. He was so good. Um, we we're meant to be trying a new bit to see if it helps stop him, but he wasn't even being stupid, which was kind of annoying, but also like he was being good. So I can't say that's a bad thing. Um, I think it did help though, because the other bits we've tried were all metal and he's used to his rubber trough bit, which just doesn't have enough. But this one was a rubber bit that also had, um, I can't remember what the attachment's called, kind of like a Pelham attachment, but not quite. No. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, what I was saying was I think it helped stop him more between the double because I couldn't really tell heaps because he was being pretty controllable. But in between the double, I did just need a bit of help sitting him up and I think it did improve that. So I'm going to buy it and hopefully I don't buy it and then he hates it again because that's what I did with the last $250 bit. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Anyway, I'm running late for dinner. It's really windy. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. It was very short, but... We're just getting back into the swing of things. Obviously, I probably would have done a voiceover, so I'm not going to really talk about that much. Um, obviously, I don't know why I keep saying obviously. Anyway, you would have seen it in the voiceover. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.